this is Dennis from ProBlab. I try to speed run my uh, my tiny presentation. So I um, we as ProBlab were running the nut hole punching month. So, so first of all, thanks to everyone who participated. So what were the project's goals? Um, so net hole punching in general, we want to have full connectivity among all nodes of a LibP2P network, despite nets and firewalls. And um, in general, this specific project, because we wanted to gather information that guide um, protocol optimizations or also some implementation details. And we got a lot of data uh, for that. The measurement campaign ran from the 1st of December until officially until the 1st of January this year. Um, uh, I analyzed the data that we gathered until the 10th of uh, January, so a little more. We had uh, almost 300 API keys generated that could, in theory, have um, uh, submitted data. Uh, but after some deduplication and so on, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, so with this 154 clients, so we had 154 clients deployed that have hole punched or punched 47,000 peers around the world and contributed uh, 6.25 million uh, data points that we are now uh, analyzing, or I have started analyzing. And the, on the right hand side, you can see where the clients were deployed and, uh, sorry, and the, the remote remote peers resided. So we basically probed the whole network, uh, so the whole world. As, so here we have the, the time on the x-axis, on the, on the left y-axis, the success rate, and each dot is an individual, um, so the color of each dot is an individual network in which the client was deployed. And um, so basically what you can see here is that the success rate, if we probe the whole wor world or the, all the other peers in the network, we have a whole punching success rate of around 70%. And... So, so I, I will get to this in a bit, um, but yeah, so this highly depends on on the on the network conditions. Um, but yeah, so we have around seventy percent, and the faint red line in the background is the number of um, data points that were submitted on each day across all the clients that we have de um, deployed, which uh, at peak were thirty five thousand, and uh, yeah, dropped after I have sent out the email that the whole punching campaign is done. So what were the insights so far? So I'm still uh, um, working on the final report. So the success rate is around 70%. But as I said, um, since we're probing the whole world, it depends on the uh, on, on the network of, of clients as well. However, that's the success rate that a peer would experience right now if they used the whole project protocol today um, to connect to a random peer, other peer in the network. Um, then some other insights. Uh, we expected Quick to be more successful than TCP. We couldn't verify this, so it seems to be that they are similarly successful uh, with uh, with regards to hole punching. Uh, IPv4, IPv6, IPv6 has a much lower success rate. Um, not, we're still not sure if this is in a measurement detail or actually a, a problem in the implementation or the protocol. Um, interestingly, it's not round trip time dependent. So if you know the uh, the whole punching protocol a little bit better, it's um, we're synchronizing both peers, and we thought that the round trip time um, is is a big factor into uh, plays a big role in the in the success rate, which we couldn't verify. So that's also good that we know that we're not aiming to optimize the, for that. Then peers, as expected, have a less uh, a worse success rate in VPNs, but also we have interest um, in, in another protocol optimization for that uh, lined up. And um, so, so I, this graph at the bottom is quite um, quite insightful. So we try the whole punch three times. But I, we found out that if a whole punch was successful, it was with 97.6% successful with the first attempt, with the first try. This means let's optimize the protocol to change strategy with the second or third attempt to increase the odds with the second and third attempt. So this is also another insight for that. I listed the, the three, like there's an, another protocol improvement that, we, that we're proposing based on feedback from the FOSDEM talk that we Max and I gave in, in Brussels last weekend. Um, also um, some implementation details, issues kind of thing. So still discussing discussions going on. Um, around some 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 weird data points that we have which could indicate some bugs or not so we're still discussing that and in terms of next step i'm working on the final report you can see the uh, the gif at the bottom right um i'm already started with that there are many more graphs and so on many uh, things to to look into and a lot of angles to look um into the data and yeah feel free to have a read and this is the next step thanks a lot